హలో ఎవ్రీవాన్ వెల్కమ్ టు కలర్ఫుల్ పేజెస్ టుడే వెరీ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ వీడియో వెరీ హ్యాపనింగ్ వీడియో వాట్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డూ వీ విల్ లర్న్ హౌ టు డై అ టీ షర్ట్ టై అండ్ డై టీ షర్ట్ విత్ కోల్డ్ డై టెక్నిక్ దిస్ టైమ్ వీ ఆర్ నాట్ బాయిలింగ్ దిస్ టీ షర్ట్ ఇన్ వాటర్ బట్ yes we will do this t-shirt tie and dye with a cold dye technique wondering what is cold dye technique shortly you will come to know so let's get started i will be introducing you with the material i will use for this process of course i need this one plain white t-shirt which i have showed you already plain white t-shirt again i am going to use for this technique other than this i need some colors now what colors i am using this is a pink color but when you are going to buy this color you are going to tell the shopkeeper your place where you buy your art supplies that you want a dye color for a cold dye technique and this one is a purple color i will make my white t-shirt with pink and purple color double dye double shade i will use okay but make sure when you are buying this from your art supplier you need to tell him ask him again and again that he is giving you the correct dye color this is the color which we use for cold dyeing right other than this we need something like this now this is called soda ash okay you will get this from again your art suppliers but of course you don't need so much you need just a pinch of it because too much use of this will spoil your t-shirt okay basically this is to clean your t-shirt nicely so that your color will be bright and gaudy and loud on your t-shirt okay other than this one more thing you need this is called a fixer now this fixer of course you don't need such a big bottle of fixer you will need 3 or 4 spoons of fixer right and i have got from a local art shop from where i got my all art supplies so from there only i got this bottle of fixer this fixer you have to tell the shopkeeper that he will give you a tie and dye fixer please remember tie and dye fixer we are using in this other than this i don't need much i am recycling my old coca cola bottle this is a small 250 ml bottle which i will use to dye my t-shirt nothing else so let's start the first process so we are ready to start this simple beautiful tie and dye cold dye t-shirt first step extremely easy take a tub or a bucket with some water in it and simply open your t-shirt and dip in it like this so you dip your t-shirt in this and leave it overnight see that the entire water you should have sufficient water so that your entire t-shirt is soaked so you leave this t-shirt for 4 to 6 hours but i recommend to leave your t-shirt in the bucket overnight i believe in overnight soaking of t-shirt because i want my colors to be very loud and bright right so forget about it let's do the rest in the morning we are ready for the next step now the t-shirt is already soaked overnight in water and we'll perform the next step just take out extra water from the t-shirt and this water throw and we will take some more water in this tub how much water we need now we need now 4 liters of water so what i have done i have a water bottle like this this is 1 liter bottle so with this i will put in my tub four bottles like this that is 4 liters of water in this tub so in this tub now i have water in room temperature this is 4 liters of water please see i am wearing gloves it is very important to wear gloves now because we are going to deal with a chemical a salt which is called soda ash this soda ash 
I will take out with a plastic spoon. So I am putting one, two, three, four, five. So it's around five spoon of soda ash. The soda ash is also called the dyer's salt. Okay, uh, the one who do tie and dye and stuff like that, they use soda ash while coloring. So I will mix it with the same plastic spoon. I have used a disposable spoon because I am going to throw it now after using it. This 4 liters of water in which I have mixed soda ash can be used again and again. So like you can, this process can be done again for 5 or 6 t-shirts. Okay. So if you want to keep this or you want to dye 5-6 t-shirts in one time, it can be done using this same mixture 5 spoons of soda ash in 4 liters of water so I have mixed the salt nicely it's disappeared that means salt is mixed properly in the water the water is I am repeating room temperature it's neither hot nor cold also see for the protection I am spreaded I have spread a, a polythene sheet because I don't want my table and all to get dirty and this t-shirt I will open and I will place inside the soda ash water with the spoon only I am going to properly dip this inside and I need to leave it for half an hour half an hour this t-shirt will be dipped in soda ash water and after that we will follow the third step but before the third step we are going to learn how to mix the colors we will now learn how to make the color for making the color, I am using this old bottle of Coca-Cola. This is 250 ml bottle. So I will use this to mix my color because I believe in uh, you know not wasting so many things. I don't want to buy specially a bottle for this tie and dye process. So I will try to recycle these bottle and reuse these bottles first. So what I am doing, this 250 ml bottle, I am keeping like this. And I'm using a card or a piece of paper can be used like this and it can be placed inside this I am doing just so that my color easily goes in without falling so first I am mixing my pink color you can see this is color pink so pink color two spoons of pink color right two spoons of pink color I am putting in this bottle so if you use a cone, a paper cone like this or a hard paper cone like this, you can use any paper which you have, newspaper, paper, whatever you get. Then your table, your tabletop surface will not get dirty. So I have used pink color. Properly I will ensure that all the dry color is there in the bottle. I will keep it aside and will now do the same for my color the same card I will use just a rough cone shape so that my color easily goes inside the bottle without falling since the neck of the bottle is very narrow so like this the second color also goes in try to maximum utilize the things reuse the things because unnecessary creating more and more garbage on earth is not good. So much of waste we create. We should maximum try to you know reuse our stuff whatever we are using once. Try to think means and ways of reusing our material. So finished doing this. Now I am using this 
fixer I told you this fixer I am using this is a tie and die fixer with the help of a spoon around three spoons because I want to ensure that my color comes loud and bright three spoons of tie and dye color fixer I will put in each bottle one is purple one is pink you can select any combination of your choice but I wanted to make a purple and pink double dye so I selected this color you can use red and black shades of indigo you can use black and gray any combination which you like yes I know I'm doing a girly thing selecting a pink color for the t-shirt but I do like pink here goes the third spoon also now the next thing which I will do is I will take a I am using water again this is again room temperature plain water nothing special about it not boiled not hot room temperature plain water and here it goes I am mixing it in this so slowly slowly we put and mix shake it well so by the time I will mix the other one don't put the entire water in one go you will come to know when the color is mixed properly by seeing in the bottle you can see how I am checking little more now this one I'll add some more water in pink because I want light pink color that's it enough for me see around how much water I have used I guess it is around 100 ml 100 to 150 ml so here my colors are ready so coming up to the next step very easy step now what we have to do this t-shirt which I have soaked 
for around 30 minutes that is half an hour in soda ash water I will take this out and just squeeze the extra water remember to wear your gloves very important you are dealing with a chemical and this will go for a spin dry in the washing machine why I am saying this because I want this to be damp moist I don't want it to be wet and I don't want it to be totally dry so this has to be somewhere in between both the things and I will leave this in the washing machine for a spin dry so that the extra water is drained out in case you are not using a washing machine what you do just simply hang it somewhere open and hang it and let the excess of water drip so I think it will not take more than half an hour again if you are just hanging it spin dry it will take just few seconds so we will get back after making this t-shirt little dry this t-shirt I have spin dried please remember it is only spin dried not rinsed okay the soda ash solution uh, some pigments of it is still there in the t-shirt right so now for the next step what I do I will fold this t-shirt like this shoulder to shoulder and the neck has to be in front see like this it's already wet so it will be easy for me to do now so you will match the neck properly adjust with your hand everything right like this check the sides should be proper the underarms to be matched yes tie and dye is all about perfection in imperfection so you don't have to be scared what you are doing now take a pencil like this I want my design to be somewhere like this as a semicircle right I want my design to be semicircle like this on my t-shirt I want to cover my half sleeves and half around half of the side of my right side of my t-shirt with the design for that what I am doing I am using a pencil and I am using a wool you can use any string which you have at home and just tie it with the pencil like this okay just a few rounds you can keep you also need a tailoring chalk this is a tailoring chalk a piece of tailoring chalk which I am using I have kept in a newspaper to show you all so one piece only I need so what I am doing I am holding the pencil somewhere here okay first I think I should take out the center how to take out the center is just folding it like this see from here you can see check properly it is done and when you fold here you will come to know that this is your center so keep your hand near this and you come came to know that this is your center point so I have marked with the tailoring chalk and use a pencil like this hold this thread like this come to the right end and check this pencil point is near the mark the center mark but not on it okay I have kept it down on the table so when you do a circle like this you can check that yes my circle is coming complete perfect so what now I am going to do is I am going to open this t-shirt so now when I have opened this t-shirt again I am here checking once more with this point that if my circle will come perfect or not so when you will check you can check little left you little right you can shift accordingly with your pencil this pencil can be shifted little left or right like now I am doing once again I am checking 
see I think it is perfect so what I will do here I will hold this tailoring chalk in my hand like this with the thread okay and we will start making a circle with the tailoring chalk see roughly you can see now circle is done with the help of this this has become like a compass and you got a nice circle so little bit finishing not much is required this circle is only for your idea now come to the main step what I am doing if I start from here please see I am taking like this small pinch can you see small pinch I have taken small pinch of cloth like this and I am going with the circle so keep on correcting your pleats here all the pinch you are taking like this keep on moving and collecting your keep your one hand somewhere here to ensure that the pleats are nice if somewhere some pleat is loose you can just redo it it's not a rocket science and you don't have to take stress on these small things I told you earlier also tie and dye is about perfection in imperfection you don't have to be worried about being so perfect in it whatever you will do will come nice just see you are pleating it along with the lines the line which you have made see how nice it's coming easy to do there are many techniques of tie and dye many types of folds can be done and all these different folding method will lead to different pattern different design with your hands keep on correcting wherever it is required keep on setting your pleats fixing them together and this is almost done see all this I have gathered together so wherever you want corrections please do it you need to gather the cloth together see almost if you will see now this my line the circle which I have made with blue tailoring chalk has come together the first step I am doing is I am using some rubber bands like this please see I am using some big ones and I am also using some small ones ok so the big rubber band the big one I am using now first that I will put here the first part like this and I will keep on checking my t-shirt trying to make the plates wherever possible with my fingers see magic of crafty fingers huh? it's very good to be creative we are passing it to our generation 
our culture, our heritage, our creativity. And we will be remembered for that. I to remember till now so many things which I learned from my mother and from my grandmother, from my teachers in school. Friends, we learn so many things with friends. Now goes the second rubber band. So keep on adjusting and keep on putting the rubber bands like this. Now adjust a bit more. See, wherever is required, fix with your fingers. Now we'll use small rubber band. One more. See, it's fixing properly. Keep on doing this process till the end. Keep on using your fingers to make and correct the pleats wherever required. Somewhere the pleats may bulge out, so settle them inside. few more keep on adding rubber bands ensure that your cloth is fixed properly keep on setting the pleats as well in between See your center point is right in the center, right? From where we started. Till the end we are going to do this. Set the cloth with your fingers. Now this is loose so I am making it tight. Now this is the first. We have just placed properly the setting of the cloth we have done okay placing of cloth but now I feel that these two rubber bands are quite big enough so I will take them out and put the small rubber band in its place now one more I need to tuck this like this initially yes big rubber band is required to hold but later on you turn to small rubber band initially you do require big rubber band to hold the cloth in its place but then you can do finishing with the smaller ones that is why I showed you both the kinds of rubber bands Yes, see now, it is properly fixed, ready to be dyed. Okay, now we will start the last process. For that we need a tub. In the tub I have kept a, this is 
a kind of grill uh, something which I had grill stand which I had previously and I'm using the same one if you don't have you can use a mash keep two three bricks here you can keep anything here down for the platform I keep a mash on it so that this process can be done and what I'm doing is I'll keep my t-shirt this part over here and the rest of the part I am taking a polythene like this I've taken a polythene and the rest of the part of this t-shirt which is hanging out I'll keep in the polythene like this and I am rolling it you can see how I have rolled it with my hands okay and you need to tie something here now what all you want you can tie here but I am using a small rubber band to fix this in its place like this see done now the color will not flow in extra part of the t-shirt this part is saved you can see I have saved this part and this part is open correct now easy to do I will also like to keep a polythene like this in the base here so that you know my color can be absorbed both on the upper part of the t-shirt and the lower part of the t-shirt now I want to do a little marking here what kind of marking I want to make some design here so what design I'm making here roughly with my hand see these V design very roughly hmm? very roughly you don't have to be so serious about this doing this this bottle color bottle I hope you remember which I had showed you how to make I have made a hole here on the top right so this hole will help water the color come out of from the bottle on the cloth so I'm just shaking once because the color some portion is at dissolved but some is not dissolved some particles of the color but it does not affect much like this shake properly and I will start doing the first part see I will try to keep extra color will go down right and I will do purple in this block see little little you will press the bottle and you will get purple now I will do pink again let the color be absorbed by the cloth and now shake the bottle purple and do purple again pink dye and dye is all about imperfection so no need to be scared that this has happened and that has happened you will get an awesome product later on Now I will turn this and do on the other side the same thing. So what I started with my little I have drawn V here. So same V I will draw roughly. Okay and I started with pink so I will start with pink again. Again keep on mixing this.
shake the purple and add purple this portion will be done by purple again I will do it with pink I know most of you will say that ma'am has done a girly thing using pink color huh but I am fond of pink color a lot see like this now again pink nicely let the color go inside the cloth followed by purple followed by pink again and I am doing a second coat my color is also left and I want to ensure that the color is absorbed nicely inside so I'm doing a second coat of both the shades, the pink and the purple. So we have done and now this is going to stay for around 4 to 6 hours like this only. But I am going to remove this polythene from under the cloth. So let this be here. The extra color is going to drip down and you leave it for 4 to 6 hours. Suppose you are doing this in the evening then you can leave it overnight and in morning again you can work on it but I am doing in the morning so I don't want to wait till night I will be doing the next step in the evening right it's now six hours I have left this dyed t-shirt like this only and now I am going to rinse it thoroughly in water I will just show you how I do all that so I lift it carefully like this you can see the color is nice back in front the excess color will now be washed in the water so what I am doing is just I am not removing this polythene please see right now and just in running normal temperature water I am going to rinse the excess color you will see that a lot of color will be washed off now See how beautiful the color and the design has come the last step here is that I have taken a mild detergent liquid detergent over here I have used surf excel as I had it at home you can use easy you can if you don't have any of that you can use a little dishwasher also but take very less quantity and I am adding water to it and washing it in that just to ensure that the entire now t-shirt is ready the excess color has to go ensure nicely rub wherever it is required rub it so that the excess color it goes off So nicely done two 
three time, times I am going to rinse it in this running water again. beautiful the color is wonderful design exactly as I wanted Thoroughly you have to rinse it in water to ensure that there is no detergent left in your cloth. You will come to know because you will notice that the water it becomes clear. Otherwise you will notice in initial state that the water which was coming out was colored. But now you will come to know that the water which is coming out is, see, it's clear water. I'll show you once again. See, if I'll squeeze it, the water which is coming out is totally clear. Can you notice? That means this is now ready for use. I'll show you and I will dry it and show you the final product later on see how beautiful the pattern is I'm sure you are all liking it very much and you are definitely going to give it a try so let me dry it and show you how it looks so here's my new tie and dye t-shirt I'm sure you're liking it a lot see the design back and front half side white and half side colored so this new design unique design i am sure you all would like to make it yes all right so you have the tutorial with you go ahead try and let me know your views in the comment box don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel stay home stay safe stay happy always